Hi guys, this is Mario here for Ingadget TV. Today I'm doing a video review of the Meezy U2C Android TV stick. The most interesting thing about this TV stick is that it does actually have a camera and microphone inbuilt into the device itself. Um, just a quick view around the device. We've got different I.O. ports on the bottom, uh, on the side, and interestingly it does have an AV out next to the HDMI uh, output on the device, so you don't have to have an HDTV to use this, which is interesting. Now let's get into using the device right now. Hi guys, we're here again with the Meezy U2C. Uh, as you can see from the Android homepage, we've got Wi-Fi and Bluetooth uh, enabled on this PC stick. Um, we've just got some uh, apps that are already pre-installed on the TV stick. Um, and I'll just show you around the demo and some of the web browsing features. And uh, hopefully you'll get a general feel for this TV stick. One thing I will say is that this is um, one of the fastest TV sticks I've used. Uh, it's up there with the uh, Mini X Neo G4, and uh, I'd even go as far as saying it's slightly faster uh, on the web browsing side. Uh, so if we just go, uh, let's just go to YouTube. Um, usually this is quite slow, not quite slow, but uh, fairly slow to load uh, when comparing to uh, to a, a desktop laptop. Um, as you can see, it loads all the pages really quickly. Uh, let me just load this video and just give you an idea of how quick these videos load. Oh my God, and as you can see, it's already done. And uh, if we just go make this, and it's already buffered at the bottom, you can see it's nearly at the end there. And this is an HD clip as well. leave that clip now. As you can see I just hit the bar at the bottom. I think if you just swipe up, uh, let me see, it comes back up. Um, next I'll just take you to the eHome Media Center. Um, this is a feature that comes on most of the TV sticks now. Uh, it allows you to search for devices on the same network. As you can see it's found my laptop and uh, and we'll be able to uh, have a look at what's inside uh, this as a media player. Uh, so we'll go into music. So this is searching my laptop now over my network. I'm going to go into music and uh, let's just click onto this song. And this is now streaming live over my network. It's buffered or buffering there very quickly, obviously, as it's on the same network. And then you can repeat these, repeat them all. Uh, you can also download the tracks. Um, you transfer. So this, uh, in theory, should be on our uh, in our music now. And here we go. So you can download things from your network directly onto the uh, TV stick, which is a really useful feature. Slightly embarrassing song to be playing, so we'll pause that. As you can see, everything is super snappy on this uh, device. It still is the RK3066 chip, but uh, companies have really refined that now. Um, so it works beautifully uh, when you need to do anything. Let's go into Google Maps and see how this works. So let's just skip this. And let's just keep going in and see how quickly this loads. As you can see, Everything loaded extremely quickly. Uh, let's just take this to a satellite picture and see how quickly that buffers. As you can see, that was really quick. Let's just go into Las Vegas. And everything buffered extremely quickly, which is a really nice feature for this uh, TV stick. Now, you're probably wondering why I haven't showed you the main part of this uh, TV stick which is the camera and microphone function and 
as you can see, the HDMI, well, you probably can't see, but the HDMI port on this TV is actually at the back, which is obviously an inherent issue uh, with having a camera on the actual TV stick. Let me just show you. Uh, this is actually what we're seeing, which is the back of my TV and uh, probably the ceiling of this room. Uh, but you can actually take pictures and, uh, and do everything you want to do. So you can zoom in um, and obviously take videos as well. But uh, I think this is a really neat feature to have on these devices. Obviously, it's going to be uh, everyone's going to keep refining this now. Um, maybe work on the way the cameras are implemented. Um, I'll see if I can. Uh, let me see. Oh, there is a sound recorder. So let's see. Hello. Press record. Hello. 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 See, it is picking up me speaking. Uh, so the microphone is fairly decent. If I just play this, so that is actually very good actually, it's the first time I've used that. Uh, we should be able to search on Google, BBC Sport. Slight mistake, let's try that again. BBC Sport. <laughs> Another mistake, let's try one more for luck. BBC Sport. Then it didn't work again. So obviously there are some issues. Obviously that's uh, probably an issue with uh, Google, but uh, let me just show you how quickly these web pages load. And once again, loading the web pages extremely quickly. Let's go on to Sport like I usually do. And this is loading the fastest that I've ever seen uh, on a TV stick. Um, let's just see if it plays any of the content within. Uh, this might not do depending on whether it's got flash installed or not, but it looks like it will do actually. And there we go. Playing the content within the browser, which is a great feature uh, when you're just lounging around using a TV stick on your sofa. Uh, just using this as a web browser uh, is, is a really great feature. So overall, I'm going to say this uh, mini TV stick, the Mizi U2C, is up there with the best of them. Uh, one of the fastest I've ever seen. Includes a camera and a microphone, as we've seen. Sometimes doesn't work as well as it should do. Um, but overall, uh, I would have to give this uh, an, a 9 out of 10 uh, for usage. Uh, very easy to use. Um, picking up the keyboard. Sometimes we have issues where it repeats characters, but this is... Uh, this is very good to use, uh, very fluid, very quick, and, uh, and a great device. Available from us at ingadget.co.uk now. Uh, everyone on Vondroid, look out for some special deals, and uh, we look forward to making more videos for you soon.